What's going on, everybody? Apparently, ranked draft war of the spark is up, which is best of one, but could still be fun. So let's try it out. Also, if you guys are watching on uh, uh, YouTube or Twitch, I guess I don't know. I it's gonna be a shorter stream, probably leaving about six today. It was about three and a half hours because I'm gonna go hit up an F and M. So that sounds good. With uh, with swole with swole Mike with Rob. <clears throat> All right, best of one. Let's see what we got here. Got a Davriel, Jace's Triumph, Challenger Troll seems good. Bloom Hulk might actually be the strongest card in this pack based on how this format works. I'm gonna take the Bloom Hulk. I think it's probably it's better than Challenger Troll. I'm also expecting a package from UPS, so. When that gets here, I'm going to go have to sign for it. Ooh, Grateful Apparition. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. When you play FNM, do you play any different than a PTQ or any more major tournament? Uh, I I care less, and I, and I make more misplays. It's either Rescuer Sphinx or Grateful Apparition. This is actually a tough pick. Divine Hour Wanderer Strike could come back. I think it's Apparition. I haven't actually drafted the Apparition yet, so I, we're going to see how good it is. Ooh, Elite Guard Mage? Apparition is pretty nuts, I agree. Wow, these three uncommons are, are gas. Kazmina, Guard Mage, and Bleeding Edge. I almost like Kazmina with this Grateful Apparition and this Bloom Hulk, and I feel like it's pretty easy to splash. Yeah, I'm going to take the Kazmina here. If any of this other cards comes back, I'm real okay with it. <clears throat> Was there an Alexander Ramilton in that bag? <laughs> Alexander Ramilton. I went pretty nuts with the booster boxes. Oh, God, what does that mean? I'm going to take this band together. Ideally, this Rising Populace or this Dam Breaker comes back. Just you wait. All right, um, <clears throat> I just got like a bunch of things. Okay, so we're definitely taking the, the, the Cronch Wrangler here. It's Cronk Wrangler. No, I don't care. Eh, Stinger's fine. These other cards are not super exciting. And we'll likely just be splashing the Kazmina if it comes down to it. Oh, Pollen Bright Druid? Yes. Anything that proliferates in this format is, like, super good. Also, this card helps us splash the Kazmina. Wow, none of those cards came back. The Tails, the uh, the Divine Arrow, and nor the, uh, the other one. Light Shield might just be fine. Uh, Courage and Crisis is great. Iron Bull is fine. I don't think we're going in on three Stingers. Uh, Bond of Discipline is pretty sweet. Narset's okay. Pegasus is great. Oh, did you get a? Uh, did you get Japanese boxes? Because that seems awesome. <clears throat> I do like Bastion. I don't know if it's better than any of the other cards, though. Like, we already have a good amount of Proliferate. Great Flapparition, Pollen Bright Druid, uh, Bloom Hulk. I think I'd rather take the Trusted Pegasus. I think it's just a solid pick at any point. Wanderer Strike, also pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, we'll take the Wanderer Strike. And it's got Proliferate on it. That, oh, wow, another Grateful Apparition? Wow. Yes, please. And another Wanderer Strike. All right. I think that's probably better than the Pollen Bright Druid. 
Kiora? How are we looking on Kiora? One. <clears throat> Not great. Still might be worth it. I do like Rising Populous, especially in the uh, Proliferate deck. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the upside on Kiora is higher than on the Rising Populous. Max Channeler. Jeez. Well, what's our un what's our our fixing? Centaur, Nurturer, and there's one other, right? Was there not? If not, I'm probably going to have to take the, uh... Yeah, we're just going to take the New Horizons here. Wow, and then Flux Channeler comes back anyway. That's pretty crazy. Alright, I'm going to take a Flux Channeler here. <clears throat> another Pollen Bright Druid and another Cron Wrangler? Jeez. I think it's actually Wrangler here. We want more creatures that can get counters. Ward Scale Crocodile is great. <clears throat> it puts counters on things. Oh man, a Krenko and we're not even able to play Krenko? That's just sad. Another Wanderer Strike? Jeez. Okay, you're, you're, you're. You're fine. Everything else seems good. I don't know if I want three Wanderer Strikes. I'd almost rather have like a first Martyr for the cause or a Bulwark Giant. Yeah, I like Bulwark Giant. Do I like first picking Bulwark Giant? Even like Giant Growth is good. Actually, maybe we just splash the Krenko too. Like we have, yeah, I'm gonna actually take the Krenko here. I mean, it's just as easy to splash Cranko as it is Kazmina in this deck, so. We could also take Gateway Plaza. I think Samet's really good. Just making sure I don't miss this UPS person. Hotly. Um, How many six drops do we have? No six drops so far? Could just be Worm. I think I'd rather just have... I'd save my 6 drop spot for Drake's. I think Enforcer Griffin's probably pretty good. It unfortunately does not trigger um, any of the Crunch Wranglers, though. Yeah, let's take Topple. Taking sideboard cards in best of one is really weird. Oh god. Evolution Sage is awesome, but Bloom Hulk is also awesome. <clears throat> it's better than better than Dam Breaker here, I think, for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to pick up Bloom Hulk. It triggers the Crunch Wrangler. Now we'll take a Dam Breaker. And I'll take one more New Horizons. And that seems good. Um We can cut the Enforcer Griffin. You're not a thing. Cut one of you. And I'm pretty sure it's Rising Populous, especially with the... Uh... Don't need the spider. There's only like two flyers in this farm. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't want to worry about that. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a really good point. There's not many flyers in this format. It's one of these two, I think. I 
Uh, I'll take giant here, sure. Yeah, another crocodile could be fine. Like, it's best of one, so like, you don't get to sideboard. Alright, so this is a 41 card deck. Oh, uh, we're gonna go one island and <clears throat> seven, 14, 15, 16, probably 17. We'll just play one mountain, one island, and then we also have <clears throat> two new horizons and a centaur nurturer. I'm actually okay playing 41 with this deck. Everything in the deck seems good. How many creatures do we have? 13 or something? 12, maybe? 16? Wow, that's a good number. Yeah, this deck came together pretty well. We got the Word Scale, the Dam Breaker, and Double Bloom Hulk for the Kiora. Oh! Cancel! Cancel! Yep, forgot about the gateway. I did take it out. So we're going to actually take that one forest out. Right? Let's make sure. 7711 and a gateway plaza. Perfect. All right. Woo! <clears throat> um, yes. Turn turns your grateful apparition into courage and crisis if they don't have an answer is probably GG's. Will they have an answer? Probably. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, but then we just get to go... Oh, the old turn, turn, turn three, four, four flyer. A classic. Oh, boy. That's still a four, four. Now it's a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, my Paper Magic collection is pretty sizable. Uh, you might say, you might say too big. Narset. I got 9 power on the board and you're going to play a Narset? Mm, I don't know if that's going to work for you. Nupster, paper anniversary is right around the corner. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. Welcome back. Alright, now I have seven power on the board instead. Nope, just kidding. Nine power on the board. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> this is why Kazmina's Transmutation has lost a lot of value for me. They have to block here. And 
and we done. Just play that fire mines vessel. Got him. Arctic seems good. But, you know, could be a fluke. I'll keep this hand and hope that we get a green. Because being able to go Pollen Bright Druid onto this, proliferate, make a 3-3. Or actually any land, because Iron Bully, but... Come on, land, 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 cool. Oh, that was fun. Oh, this is how we're going to lose the round, the second round? That's fun. <laughs> That's so fun. Here's one of your three losses. Oh, I, w I personally won't collect them because I don't like collecting... I I'm not really a big fan of collecting magic cards. Magic cards, for me, are largely functional. So, if I'm not going to be playing with them, I really don't like having them. Unless it's, like, power. I think they're super cool though, but I'm not gonna like go out of my way and spend money on like spend sizable amounts of money on them because they're they're pretty pricey right now. And for my cube, I could see putting them in the cube, but like on the same hand, I like having English cards in the cube because I don't know who's gonna be cubing with me. Yep, we're just gonna like this guy is trampled too, so like we have to deal with this guy two turns and and assume we have two lands. Oh, I actually don't have Power 9, so I do not get to play with my Power 9. <laughs> so I do, I do not get to play with it because I do not own it, unfortunately. It's a goal. It's definitely one of the things I... Sand seems great. I keep hearing a car door, and I'm like, oh, is that the UPS guy? And then I'm like, I don't think UPS even has doors on their vehicles. That dude would just hop out. Do I own a cube? Yes, I do. I own a powered cube, and I have counterfeit cards in my powered cube. Even if I had power, I would still use counterfeits because I wouldn't want people just shuffling up and trusting seven other strangers with with power. Like, it's... I'm telling the magic police? Dang it. Dang it. I'm a really big fan of uh, 
of playing New Horizons and it putting the New Horizons on the land that you did not use. That's that's really great. This is the story. This is what happens when you get seven strangers picked a cube. And this is what happens when they stop acting polite and start acting real. True story. You guys remember Real World? Is the Real World still on? I actually wouldn't know because I have not had cable for years. Fascination. I'm kind of hoping MTV doesn't exist. Why, though? Like, why? What's the purpose of that? They can exist. Let them exist for as long as they want. If people enjoy it, let it exist. That's, that's how I feel. You have nothing... Nothing with counters on them, huh? I think a giant growth to kill my Teo's light shield, because that seems... That seems interesting. Battlefield promotion. That's a two for one. Also, they were going to proliferate onto that guy too? No, don't be doing that. Is Mike B a pick up the ice kind of guy or kick it under the fridge type? He's totally a kick it under the fridge type. Unless I'm watching, in which case, you know. <clears throat> well, I don't want to... Uh, this is awkward. I don't want to make guys... I don't want to give them more power because then they just exile them. We could double attack here and and <sighs> All right. So now they have we have lethal in the air. This guy is trampled so they have to block here. And this is pretty much neutered because... Oh no, they can pump it and then kill one of these things. Oh no, we made a stupid mistake. Oh, they're just going to concede. Huh. Wow, we got rewarded there. I do like the quickness of these drafts. Like, I don't like the fact that you don't get to sideboard and what have you, but... I do like the quickness. John's a butt bits. Who's John? I used to like it when it played music. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm pretty sure we all liked it when they played music. You know, John, Elias' is a friend. Yeah, everybody knows John. Um, the one, one of the main things I remember um, from the real world is that Judd Winnick, um, who lost uh, his friend Pedro, who Pedro died because of an aid because of AIDS, um, he went on to become a uh, pretty illustrious comic book writer. He was really big in DC for a while, and that was pretty sweet. What up, third tail? Alexa, stop! That was weird. Why would you do that? Hmm. I think we just go double Bloom Hulk here. 
like, 4-4s four are pretty hard to deal with, I think, in general. Oh, get a load of Crunchy Boy here. Oh, you're gonna transmute that guy. Oh. We can actually proliferate onto this guy. Because now they forced them to block, and they basically used a Raging Crunch and a Kazmina's Transmutation on a Gloom Hulk. And we've lost one plus one plus one counter, but we still have the 4-4 four, four coming through. It's lit. Got it. No attacks. I guess we got a stalemate now. That's aggressive. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. How big can we get this guy? If they double block here, we're getting through with the six. They could just block here and here, which would be pretty rough. Could also just get through here and then we trade with the Crunch. I think it's just better next turn because we get to Bloom Hulk. The only thing to fear, my friend is here to help your pain. Well, that is a big Thunder Drake. Thunder, th -th thunder. I imagine the last card to land, and they played that one because they want to be able to do this. Oh, wow. Getting there with 5-5, five, five. they double block. No, that doesn't seem good. You've raised the bar. Yep. And they discard this one, which was uh, actually a stealth mission. Interesting. Sure. Oh my god, that was so bad. I forgot the stupid Tide Hollow Strix, or whatever it is. Oh god, that's so bad. How did I just forget that? I was so, like, concerned. I was I, In my head, I'm like, I don't care about this. I literally just threw that out. That was terrible. Wow, that was so bad. Is that our second one, too? Wow, that was so stupid. Wanderer Strike, one more time. Make up for that mess. The more, the messier. Oh, that is not it. Sure. 
Get to kill all of these? That's pretty cool. I feel like this iron bully is still pretty powerful here. You can get a contentious plan or a stealth mission. It's fine. They only have six power on board though, so even if they double block this, like it's still pretty brutal. Like they can attack for four and then they have to double block it. But then they actually have to block these as well. I guess they could go block here, double block here, and take two. Oh, they just they just lose. Okay, that works as well. Man, despite that uh unfortunate throwaway of the apparition, we still did the deed. Never didn't have it. Man, these, these turn 2 Apparition to turn 3 counter on the Apparition are all pretty good. Mm. They call that giving up the ghost. Wow. Wow. Solid. Solid. Swamp out of there, huh? Oh boy. The dub's apparition. Do it again. That's rude. Every time they do that, it's rude. So they have two mana up, huh? Break me off, base and then. If we draw Gateway Plaza, it's actually pretty good because we can play Apparition and Gateway Plaza, and that opens us up to play both Krenko and Kazmina. Which I'm pretty okay with. Five, five. You got it. Not bad. It's not bad. Pegasus gives this float. Which is pretty good. Let's get our Pegasus on. No attacks. Lands would be nice here, but... Making do with what we have. Oh, 
that doesn't I'm like that doesn't work, right? Like that doesn't work the way you think it works. Counters are not a copy of the attribute. That seemed great. Spark double copying a Nugent's Conjurant make a 1-1. One, one. Nice. I'm tempted to actually block with this guy just to get it back. Or just to get the Rising Populous counter because we're going to be proliferating soon. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Oh, you got a thirst in response. Is that better than this? Who knows? This seemed more important. Although a land would have been great. Because then we can play uh, Great Flapparition that turn as well. So significantly not as good. Any land here would be would be great because then we can play five five mana things. Now we're going to take eight, which is fine, I think. Because I'm pretty sure we just win this race. Especially if we had a land for Wanderer Strike and get to proliferate on both these guys. And slam with eight back. We did not. But that guy does gain us some life. Kind of like a land. I mean, now we can block the 2-3 or the 1-1. One, one. Probably the 2-3 because we don't want them to get back the spark double. You got it. Is that relevant for you? I don't know. I'll just take five here. I mean, we could literally wander or strike this guy, which puts us in really good shape. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus. That's unbelievable. Block here, we take five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually attack with both, and if they don't have anything, then we still win. Like we just five, six, seven, eight, nine. We we can we can take nine as long as they don't have a thing to proliferate or amass. All right, that wins us the game. Blow up, please, the Johnny man. <laughs> Yep, go to one. There's no need for a still had all these moment. We can go Pollen Brighter, we can go Iron Bully, put a counter on this, proliferate on all of them. There's no need. I just wanted to be clear that we still had all of these, you know. Hey, Sammy, I love you too, buddy. Or Sam. Is it Sammy or do you mind? I, I forgot. I remember we, 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 uh, we went over Sammy, Iron Chef Sammy, but I'm not sure if you don't. Yeah, you know what? You know what I'm saying. This hand's pretty slow. It is a turn four Krenko, though. 
Oh, that we can we can courage in crisis onto. Yikes. Also, if we get a turn, if we get a gateway plaza in the first or second turn, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I've been enjoying this format. I can't tell if it's more enjoyable than than the other ones, but I noticed there's not like the super fast aggressive Boros decks. Hold on. Yep. I don't really want to waste this New Horizons. Just give me that one mountain in the deck. Just the one mountain. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Krenko is busted, especially in your in your white green deck though when you're splashing a couple blue cards and a red card. Like you do. I prefer Sammy. Awesome. Sammy, appreciate it. Love you too, buddy. Nailed it. Well, Biscuits. I hate having to use this, especially with the Bloom Hulk in hand. It just feels bad, but. I haven't called Lee the cable guy. Hey, you. Hey, you is pretty common. If there's a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Bam, 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 Old Krenko. Let's just hope they don't have Heartfire and or Chandra's Power Helix. Oh, that is neither one of those things. So this makes it a 3-4, a 4-5, and we make like a bunch of a bunch of duders. It doesn't eat anything now. Yeah, I've I've tried LaCroix like several different several several times at different periods in my life. And none of them were that great. I hate to say it. This is a 4-5, so it's gonna trade with anything. And we get four one ones. That's pretty cool. God, if we had a giant growth right now, that'd be unbelievable. I'm pretty sure I want to take out the Thunder Drake. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Yep, yours is definitely better. I will also make four tokens. <sighs> well, their board is definitely better than ours. What up, Mike? Two, three, four, five. Having five mana is really awkward because I want to be able to play two things. And I don't want to just play this guy because it doesn't deal with this. 
Could just exile this guy. We take five. But they don't proliferate anything, but I guess that's not really a concern at this point. I just wish I understood it. I wish I understood, like, the appeal of LaCroix, because I feel like I'm missing out, you know? Two out of three teeth pulled today. Third had an infection and couldn't be pulled. Still need to root canal another tooth as well. On all sorts of pain meds and antibiotics and I have to work in an hour. Oh, see, that doesn't sound like good times. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just dead. They just had the better Krenko than we did. We got an apparition, we got a rising populace. I'll keep it. Any land is good. A blue land, a green land, it's all good. No land, however, is not where we want to be. Working from home is actually solid, though. That's a better situation than if you have to go somewhere and be there for eight hours. Now, I feel like I'm missing out in the sense that, like, there's somebody, there's something very enjoyable about LaCroix for a lot of people. A lot of people really enjoy it. And because I can't appreciate that, I feel like I'm missing... It's the same thing with, like, beer and alcohol. Like, I feel like I'm missing out on something because everyone loves it. And I'm just not a big fan. So, like... Three, four... She goes up to eight, but what's the point? I guess you can Bloom Hulk the turn afterwards, but... There's no counter going on this. Could just play Rising Populous, I guess. Kiora does let us... And I guess we're going to hit a land drop anyway, right? I do like playing Bloom Hulk next turn. Draw on a card. Bet you've never been hugged by a Kraken before. Yeah, even if Kiora goes to four, it's still pretty solid. Yeah, I agree. Having to force myself to like something. I'm like, but why Why don't I just like the things I already like? Time to 
I feel like we're doing well here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So we can play Crunchy Boy and then untap a land if we wanted to. Play Crunch and Pegasus, which seems very, very good. We can also play Crunch and Rising Populous in case they kill something. It sets us up nicely for for Ward Scale Croc next turn. Six mana. Can they do anything for six that they couldn't do for five? I don't know. Oh, they killed the Bloom Hulk? Oh, that's interesting. Wow, I would have killed the Great Flapparition for sure. One to the face? Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that guy's pretty solid. So we can Courage in Crisis here, proliferate on everything. <laughs> Play a Pegasus or play another Grateful Apparition? Yikes, this is a lot of things. This is a this is a pretty solid probably pretty solid whatever we're gonna do here. Not splashing for gutter bones? I don't even have a gutter bones. Gutter bones connected to the butter bones. <laughs> oh my god, this deck is insane, dude. dead, right? Wow, that was gas. We have five wins, two more wins, and we got this. This is a keeper, it's a rough keeper, but it's a keeper. If we hit a red or a blue, it's great. Yeah, it's good too. We 
neck and bones connected to the Le wow oh boy Krenko City we built Krenko City okay. is the best of one war draft out yet that's literally what we're doing right now you literally just watched us play several matches that were one round Uh, no blocks. This is where they go secretly pump this guy and give it plus two and then proliferate. They didn't do that. Big cranks. Oh, they didn't kill it. That's nice. Huh. Let me cast the spell of targets if I don't want any kind of it. So I'm not gonna block because they don't have any blockers and Krenko is legit. And if we block here, they could just do some shenanigans. Like that. Sure. I think Krenko is going to survive. Yeah, this guy's big now, but it doesn't have trample, so... Okay, that's huge. Your deck is good. But mine are good too. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's that's biscuits. You just block with charm striker. I mean, the problem is they have us dead in the air to Trusted Pegasus, 10th District Legionnaire. So we have to block here. Oh, they just took it. They didn't even block with Charm Stray. That's fascinating. That's a yikes for me, dog. They can't really alpha here. They also can't... I feel like they can't attack with both of these because it leaves them too defenseless, but what do you I know? To the truth. Yep, that's fine. Are they dead? Is that too much? They block here. They take 4, 8, 14... They're just dead. They just killed themselves, right? They take 16 here. That's such a weird attack. Could call on taking the Krenko. Yeah, he's definitely paid himself off.
Cranko's connected to the neck bone. The neck bone's connected to the Cranko bone. This is how Cranko works. Yeah, we had enough fixing to splash a Krenko, which is usually a super, super powerful card. And when your deck is proliferate based, it's just like, it's just that much better. Alright, come on, lands. How about, how about Apparition into Forest? I don't think that's asking a lot. Nope, that's the wrong two drop, but I appreciate your effort. So that's nice. Let's play a Crunchy Boy, because even if they actually pump this guy, we could still trade. I don't think you need a fourth Lo 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 rune, Lo rune Duder. That just feels like too many. Hmm, I see. Hmm, how can we deal with this Brasky boy? Is there a way to do with it now? Like, we deal two. Bully lets us deal three. So we can, if they double block, we pop her for one. If they single block... Let's just play Pegasus for now. Vraska's very good. In case you guys didn't know. That's true. If you see an assassin coming for you, that is a bad assassin. That is one bad assassin. Yeah, we're just no blocking that. Oh, we have to hit a land for this Bloom Hulk. Oh, we did not. That's what I was not hoping for. Oh yeah, there's a chair here. Yeah, I should have moved it. Or put the green screen in front of it. Let's do that. There we go. Look, I fixed it. Bye, Rhombus Mike. <laughs> oh Lord. Yep, you can block here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Just take two. A lot of these creatures are not that great. Thank you. The Mike Arnold, twenty-seven months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. So we can attack for seven in the air. We block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
And then we attack for seven in the air again, and they live. So let's no attacks here, and assume that we should probably try to survive. I thought I missed the first mulligan every time, wow. Yeah, I blame the chair. Just this one, huh? Yeah, we'll take two. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just want to play creatures here, but we can only, we can only play one creature here, unfortunately. We exile this, attack with these. Five, six, seven. We can get in there for eight. And then we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, that seems rough. I'm gonna have to just get this guy because I don't think we're actually blocking with that guy. Yep, that's pretty insanely good. Just added four power to the board, eight power to the board. It's a reasonable thing to do. Aggressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. This is pretty brutal. I guess if you're gonna die anyway, you might as well die in the service of killing this guy. Or we can just... No, we're chump blocking you, right? And then we're taking four, five, six, seven, eight. So this guy's staying alive. Go to one. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five. We have to deal with five creatures. Cannot do it. All right. Not too bad. Six, three. Doesn't feel too bad, but I guess we're as close as as close as you can get to winning the draft. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think of ranked best of one. I'm not a huge fan, but it's all right. It's okay. And uh, you can check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. You can also check me out at uh, Mana Traders. There's a link and a promo code in the description below. You'll get 25% off. 20% off your first three months of any subscription. Physical paper magic cards or digital magic online cards. So definitely check those out. And MeUndies, you get 15% off. The f and free shipping for your first order. So definitely check those things out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.